he was handsome. Okay, <laughs> boy, stay focused, baby. We made eye contact. Don't make me turn around. Um, what the hell was he thinking? Dirty tears, and I'm sinking. Cause we hi, loves. Oh my gosh, how y'all doing? Happy Thursday. Your girl took off work today. Okay, I hit up my program manager this morning. Was like. If possible, can I please take off today? I don't have no meetings on the calendar. I definitely have things that need to get done, uh, which she is aware of, and I made sure to recommunicate that back to her, but I need a day. It has been some crazy past few weeks. Oh, excuse me, y'all. There's been some crazy past few weeks at work, and I and just, I'm gonna be busy. I'm just busy, constant. Like, next week, I'm like, would I be able to take a day off next week? Because I also have to travel out of town for work later next week. So it's like, I may not be able to. But either way, I'm glad that I was able to sneak in this mental health day. That's what I like to call them. A good mental health day where you do what you want to do. Okay? If you want to, if this AT&T truck don't care for if you want to lay in bed all day, do that. If you want to lay in bed and eat ice cream all day, do that. If you want to lay in bed, watch Netflix all day, do that. If you want to get out like me, be out and about, do that. You do what you want to do on your day. It's your day, okay? Can't nobody take that day away from you. It is your day, and today is my day. So, to start my day off, I'm headed to Starbucks because I want a matcha. So, I'm going to grab me a matcha. And then we need to get to Target because Target has a sale right now, I think, where selected beauty items, um, not beauty, but I think it's body, I'm sorry, skin and body items are 20% off. And then all hair is 20% off, all hair products. And I want to say this sale is March 11th. So y'all know I got to go to Target. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad because I want to bring back the um, Cantu Mango Body um, Shape Body Butter. It's not even. It's not a butter because it's like the original form. And I'm like, I, I don't want this. I rather have. It's like the hard original form of the product. I like more of a whipped. Give me whipped or give me creamed. But I don't want it where I have to like where I can use that to make my own, you know, butter or cream. I'd rather for it already to come that way. I have made my own body butter and body cream before, um, or attempted to. It's not a bad thing to do. I'm just at a point right now where I wanna buy it and it's already done for me. So um, I'm taking that back. And I'm also having, ooh, this van just almost hit me. Wow, yeah. Wow, I don't think she could see. Um, and she's trying to get over it. Oh, of course, she didn't mean to. But um, my water pick stopped working. So um, I'm going to take that and exchange it for a different one. So, yeah, several things to do up in the toilet today. And then I'm thinking about going to the movies later. I definitely want to find somewhere cute to grab some lunch. Uh huh. Yeah, a little, little me time, a little, little just me by myself, a little lunch. So definitely want to do that. Um, and then I would love to go to the movie theaters in Fenton to see Creed. <laughs> and I'm happy I'm going by myself because y'all, your girl, about to be in there lusting. Jonathan and Michael, baby, lusting, just lust, just pure sin, and then you know it. That's, that's what's about to happen. Oh. Um, just pure sinning. Pure lusting. Enjoyment. Give me a cocktail for the cocktail and watch them two men. <laughs> that's a good time to be alive. So, yeah, I'm thinking about maybe doing that, but maybe doing that in the later part of the day. Um, also, my roommate, her birthday is coming up. I think she is... She's the baby of us three. I told y'all I have th it's three of us women and a baby. She ain't no baby. She a toddler. But um, yeah, her birthday, the youngest one, her birthday is this coming weekend. So I'm like, do I get her perfume? I was thinking about getting her a Lululemon belt bag because I feel like that would be very helpful for her. Um, because she's kind of like 
she's not a tomboy, but kind of like a tomboy. Yeah. So, anyways, I was thinking about getting her that. I'm not too for sure. We'll figure it out. Um, but I definitely want to get her something cute and nice and something that she wouldn't buy herself, which she's not one of those type of people that buys herself much. She would prefer to buy for others. And it's like, girl, you need this. <laughs> so um, I want to get her something even like that she might not even been expecting, right? So yeah, thinking about doing that. And that's if I get to like a Lululemon store and they have bags available because I love duck. When did I go? Was it last week? Week for last? I have a belt bag, like the furry kind of belt bag, uh, which I like, but the I had the cream color one and it gets dirty so quick, but that one's the cutest one out of the two. And I really did want that bag. Um, at first I said I didn't. And then I got this one last week. I wanted this one in cream, but they didn't have it so I went ahead and got the black one because I did need a new black um, crossbody bag and then I had this one in black but I switched it out for this color and I really like it um, but it also gets dirty easily but you can easily wash these because of the type of material and then I got the um, keychain to go with this where I can just carry this by itself um, and cause I was rushing the other day, I just clipped it on here, but typically of course this would be in here, but whatever. Um, so let me get up here and order my Starbies. Can I get steady for you? Yes. Can I have a venti ice matcha okay. with um, vanilla sweet cream as the milk Okay. and two pumps of caramel? Okay. And also, if you can lightly line the cup with caramel drizzle, that'll be all. Okay, let's see. If this is it, you told us eight twelve. Thank you. You're welcome. I accidentally added caramel to my matcha drink the other day like the cup was just lined with it and I was like oh this is good so this is my first time trying it where I add caramel to it to see how it is I hope that it's good some telling me it's gonna be good like most of the time matcha is really good with like their different syrups so something's telling me it's gonna be real good y'all I need to take this car to go get detailed It's a sad sight to see. It's really sad. It's given I'm still a social worker that does home visits when I'm not. It's so sad. All right, loves. Ooh, okay. All right. Yeah, because you just swung up in this thing. What is going on with the cars today? Okay, y'all. Okay, he was handsome. Okay, Toy, stay focused. Baby, we made eye contact. Don't make me turn around. Um, <laughs> Y'all. I don't know how to act. So, we got our matcha. I have not tried it yet. Let's try it. <laughs> I might have to start making this at the house because, see, Starbucks be playing with us and they don't offer a sugar-free caramel anymore like the syrup, baby. They also need to get a plant-based sweet cream. But my God. <laughs> Y'all, once again, this is a venti ice matcha latte lined with caramel in the cup, made with vanilla sweet cream for the milk with two pumps of caramel syrup. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. The thing is good so good hi loves finally made it to target i'm over here at their starbucks looking at the um spring collection cups because let's see to allow more of our guests to enjoy the spring theme such target will be limiting purchases of two units per item per household oh okay um this is one of their spring cups it's so funny because one of my friends sent this to me because she's like oh you'll probably like this she's a zeta and i'm aka the top is pink, but from afar, it just looks like 
it's red and green to me. It's giving Christmas. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. Then you have this one that's giving you like Easter basket kind of vibes. That's kind of cute, but not worth me buying. They got it all blue. They have this one that has flowers on it. Uh, I don't know, their spring collection just ain't really hitting it for me. This one is kind of cute and simple. It's like a bright Kelly lime green. I, I wouldn't say Kelly, I'll take that back. But it's a bright green with the pink at the top. So that's definitely giving AKA vibes. But it is $22.95. And don't get me wrong, I definitely spend my money on Starbucks cups. People know me, because now these cups are also $22.95. But that one is just so small. I mean, I get it, because it's an uh, insulated cup, but or whatever you call those cups. I might be saying it wrong. Y'all, over here on this channel, we say a lot of things. We pronounce a lot of things wrong. So just bear with me, okay? <laughs> just bear with me. But, um, but yeah, I'm here. Don't, I, I'm not looking at clothes, even though I do need to get some items for spring. I'm not here for that. I'm here because they have a sale with hair and body care items are 20% off. So, uh -huh. Hi loves, my bad y'all about Target. I was making some other videos while I was in there that I'll probably post here on shorts, definitely on TikTok and Instagram. So you need to be following me on my other platforms. But y'all, I stay under budget, baby. I'm so happy. I was like, all right, Tori, we're not going over $110 in Target because they have a thing right now where $110 gives you a $15 gift card. So I was like, we can do that. But we can't do nothing much. Like we can't go outside of our budget, okay? We need to stay within our budget. Our budget for Target and just our budget in general. Y'all, I bought out of that thing spending under $75. It was like $73 and some change, baby. I don't have to get the $15 gift card. Thank you, Target. I appreciate you. I did find out that I couldn't return my water pit because I was past the time frame of that. Um, and which is, that's cool. It's perfectly fine. And it's not that, well, let me clear up because I think earlier I said my water pit stopped working. Really, it's not the water pit itself. It is the sockets or socket in our bathroom. Like it just stopped working. And I just recognized I meant to purchase a diffuser air freshener for our bathroom since we can't, excuse me, since the plug-in is not working. Maybe I'll go into the Target over in North Hills and grab one because I'm going to head to North Hills and grab lunch right now. Um, or at least that's where I'm thinking about grabbing lunch. So yeah, excuse me, my matcha is getting me. So yeah, maybe, maybe we'll do that. Why is it making me burp so bad? My water. I didn't drink it all. Mm. That's probably not going to help. But anyways, so that's really the issue that's happening. So hopefully the homeowner will get that fit soon because that's annoying. So I was going to get one that it runs by battery where I don't have to worry about it, you know, being plugged in. But I didn't grab it today neither. But anyways, walked out spending under $75. Probably because of the fact that they got that sale going on where skincare and body care, or they don't say body care, but skincare, selective skincare items are 20% off. All hair care is 20% off. They even have like bedding and bath items 20% off. Y'all, I saw the cutest shower curtains. And I was like, Tori, you don't need that. Like, wait, girl just wait even though i do i probably need to start buying things and putting things to the side for whenever i do get my place i'm trying to see about buying my own home i'm in that process it is tedious when i say and this is just being real teach your kids how to have good credit my mom and father are excellent human beings but that was not taught to me. And even though I'm 37 now and I am old enough and it, you know, no one owes me anything, I have like gotten my credit to a good place and then destroyed it. And now I'm trying to work back up to getting in a good place. Um, because 
life is not what you think it's going to be. Like, I remember being 25. I remember graduating from college and being like, oh, well, I'm moving to this place. I mean, like, I'm educated. I'm smart. I'm beautiful. What man wouldn't want me? Girl, girl, life, life will teach you a lot um, <laughs> real quick. So, um, where I thought by 30, I would have at least one child, a husband, a home with my husband. And I, always, I used to say, I don't want to buy because I want to wait till I get married. Wait for what? That might not happen. And it may happen. And if it do happen, then we have a property that we can rent out if we want to. Or if we want to make my home our home. Or if you have a home, we make your home our home. And then we have this other property, once again, that we can rent out. Or sell. But, yeah. I turned 30? I would say I was 30 when I was like, you know what? Um, Baby. Let, let let that let that go. Life life don't go like that. That ain't how it goes. You God runs all of this. Um. So yeah, I am very much interested in buying my first home and just getting things together. So that is one of the reasons why when I moved back to North Carolina, I moved in with my friend. She thought it was gonna be a good idea. She presented it to me, and I was like, "You're on to something." Um. And even though I could have moved back to North Carolina and moved in with my mom as I'm working on everything with the lender and my realtor, who is my best friend, I love her. Um, my niece lives with my mom, her and her newborn baby. Um, so, well, she ain't no newborn no more. She'll be one this month on the 15th. Oh my gosh, my stinker butt. Y'all my stink. I yell her so much. Oh, so I didn't want to crowd my mom's home this i'm in raleigh i'm closer to things that i need to be around um it's easier for me to film here and so yeah i'm just being real transparent real blunt and honest with y'all right now i hope i hope y'all don't mind and i hope you appreciate but yeah it's a lot so um we're in the process of cleaning up some things getting some things together it has not been easy but it's gonna be well worth it at the end and i'm super excited so i'm like tori you don't need to buy that shower curtain right now girl just chill out chill out chill out so i chilled out and i walked out spending less than 75 but anyways i need to grab something to eat so yeah i feel like going to north hills okay loves my homeboy called me threw me completely off and i have a bad tendency of sitting in the car does anybody else do that like i'll get real comfortable and just sit and so i haven't had lunch yet and it's two o'clock and i got over here at like what 1 1 15 terrible but i'm gonna go to pieology i have not been to this one here in raleigh since i moved back so i hope it's good that was really good of course i wasn't gonna finish all of it but it was really really good since i'm in north hills and at&t is right here i'm tempted to go in to see how much it would be to upgrade my phone last time they told me it would be like 200 or something and i was just like oh, i can wait but um i think i'll go in and see and kind of go from there i'm probably not going to upgrade it today and then head over to Lululemon. Loves, I appreciate a super honest person. I went into AT&T and she was like, to be honest with you, yeah, you do need more storage just because of everything that you do, but you might as well wait for the 15. And I'm like, you know what, she's right. this one because she's a really really simple girl um and she doesn't like like huge bags like i have the bigger size one some telling me the smaller one would be right up her alleyway
Y'all, I finally made it to the nail salon. I have my D&D red that I've been rocking like only. So let's get in here. piggies got done okay yay 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 now i'm trying to make it out to fenton which is in cary i love that area can i just say it is too cute but i'm trying to make it out to fenton to the movie theater so that i can see creed but there's always something that's going to try to be against you <laughs> and right now that's traffic because it's like 5 22 523 and I need to be there the previews movie whatever it starts at 545 so when I initially started on this journey I was good to go with like 15 minutes to spare it's an accident somewhere along here and so that threw me off a little bit and it's saying that I won't arrive until like 536 or 540 something like that which leaves this much time to spare. But one thing I am happy about, your girl got a recliner seat, a Lux box recliner seat where I can order drinks and food. So we're gonna do dinner there. We're gonna have some drinks. We're gonna watch Creed. We're gonna lust over those five, six, seven, seven. Woo! We love a good lust session. Anyways, so that's what we're gonna do. And I got my blanket. Life is going to be grand. Life is going to be great. This has been a wonderful mental health day. If I could just make it defensive. Y'all, have you ever had, like, first of all, these, these dating sites are something else. They really are. Um, but I'm at the nail salon getting the piggies done. And out of the blue, I get this message like, hello, Tori. So formal. I look back and I'm like, I see it says, it's someone named Melvin. And the way the conversation was going, I'm assuming that I met him online. Um, and then I'm like, hi, who is this? <laughs> you know, gotta hit you with the who is this? Oh, I figured you wouldn't remember me. We text like four times and I don't remember you dog. <laughs> but anyways, he proceeds to send four messages back to back. Oh, Melvin, we met on, I think he said we met on Hinge. Um, I can't remember where we met. Anyways, and then he sent a picture of himself. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. I remember you. What's up? Because at this point, sir, that text thread, that the original text thread was from November, December. What you want? <laughs> it's now March. <laughs> it's March. What do you want? Like, I, I'm definitely one of those women, like, consistency is key so I'm good like what, like we never met so what you want what's up <laughs> but yeah anyways dating <sighs> it's it's a sport it's a whole sport it will have you physically mentally drained and tired maybe you'll put all your blood sweat tears in it it's so so much but anyways heading out to Fenton let me get off of this camera with you guys and focus on this road because of course we're in five o'clock traffic and people are five o'clock driving which is they're driving crazy like nobody has any sense so let me focus <laughs> of lusting that your girl has had in a long time okay baby them bodies who said they come out the house looking like that okay mr jonathan jesus 
Baby, I said I'll never date a Jonathan again, but run it back. Not that one, but <laughs> I'll run the name back if it's him. Honey. Honey. That's one handsome man. Jesus. And you know, I don't know. When I look at them now, the only thing I think about is when that beautiful black sister was about to interview them and he tapped him on the leg like nah we good like we real happy to see you <laughs> i love that my soul cried out tears of nothing but joy i forget that it is a honeysuckle gelato spot out here in fenton which i'm not quite ready for that just yet i need for it to get just a tad bit warmer oh they're gonna put a uh, um, Parker out here. Okay. Anyways, I need for her to get like just a tad bit warmer and then I would love to come out. Now, what day was that? It was one day last week here in North Carolina where the weather was so beautiful. And I was like, oh, this is a good ice cream day. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to have to ask the Lord to forgive me for the thoughts. It's the thoughts. They also have a sports and social out here that I want to come to. They have games in there and all this type of stuff. So I'm pretty sure that's a fun time, like a fun time for you and your friends to come out and have a good time. So yeah, I need to check that out. But baby, sorry y'all, I can't stop thinking about the lusting. I mean, just, oh my gosh. Whew. Both of their parents. Both of y'all parents deserve a parent appreciation award. That's what that is. I am willing to put it together to present to their parents. Because, my God. That was just a beautiful time. It was so beautiful. So, so beautiful. But anyways, I got to get home. This has been a really good mental health day. Okay? And that was a good way to end the day. I did order a cocktail while I was in there. I got their... I forget what they name it, but basically it was Henny and Lemonade, which I'm cool with. I love to use lemonade for everything. Like, I give me lemonade and whatever brown liquor that I, my heart desires, and I'm good. Or tequila. And, and, and my heart is good. But yes, I'm going to now get home and get a shower because today is Thursday. And tomorrow is definitely a full pack jam work day. I need to get up and see what did I miss from today and do my state call at 10. And uh, what else do I need to do? My state call at 10 and get to the office for this training interview that I have. These cars are wilding that I have with UNC for upcoming training that we're doing for social workers so yay jam packed day but in case i don't check in with you all once i get home because once i get home i'm probably gonna fix me a glass of cab and get ready for the bed and do some editing i hope that you all enjoy this day with me it's been a good vlog day at least i think it is i feel like i probably just rambled most of the day but isn't that what vlogging is all about <laughs> just rambling anyways but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed my mental health day with me and i'll talk to y'all later bye